y'all seen in previous videos, the motor for the super jet, it's blown up. So I've got this other one I'm trying to get put together and everything. Got a lot of motor work done to it. Still getting done to it. Um, but I'm gonna get it put together here real soon. Um, later on the end of this video, maybe around five minutes or something like that in the video, I'm not really sure where, but it's probably about five minutes in. It's gonna transition into the new graphics for the Superjet. I've had them for months. It just been kind of cold, didn't really want to install them. So finally got warm enough now where I'm gonna get those installed. So stick around and uh, see the new graphics and what the ski's gonna look like when it's done on the exterior. So let's take a look at the engine. Here's the top end I had done. And I got this bottom end and as you can tell, we got black. And we got uh, powder coated gold, so we've got to get these taped up. I'm gonna hit them with this uh, little silverish gray just to kind of get them all the same color. And then I'm gonna finish it off with the same color that I used last time on this motor, but it'll be a little more consistent. We'll have all the crazy kind of look to the metal and all that because it's all gonna be covered in the silver first. So hopefully it'll turn out looking real good and it'll pop more having the silver base down before all that. But we gotta get all this taped up and start putting some paint on it. And then... Got it all clean, prepped. Well, I said I got it cleaned. I gotta wipe it just a little bit more, but I got it prepped. Gonna go sit it there and Put a couple coats of the uh, silver primer on there, or silver base. And we got the first coat on here. Silver trying to cover everything up, but laying on pretty good. Well, we got it done now. Got all the coat on there I'm gonna put, so it's gonna turn out pretty good in there. It's all painted up now. I'm just gonna get uh get everything lined up and try to meet up with my buddy and see if he can help me. Slap this together, all the right torch backs and everything. I just don't wanna take any chances. I got pretty penny in this motor now, so I don't wanna do it myself and mess something up, but. Well, now we got the, uh, the motor painted up, got it from being like four or five different colors. Now I got one solid color for the most part. Uh, we gotta get everything else ready. Got pretty much my Pro X pistons, gaskets, uh, crank seals, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, we're gonna get this thing finished up, put together. Well, it's taken me long enough to finally get around to doing it, but I'm gonna get started on the uh, Super Jets graphics kit. Let me get this thing open up, laid out, and let y'all see what we got going. Well, here's the graphics kit design I went with. It's a 2012, but I changed the orange to the same red as the uh, red I painted the blaster. But as you can kind of tell by this, there is no transfer tape. So, yeah. I'm gonna have uh, fun trying to pull this on, especially with these, uh, this is gonna be flopping, that's gonna be flopping. I may have to go buy some transfer tape. I'm not very happy about that. I paid pretty, pretty penny for this.
All right, that's a good idea what it's gonna look like. It's not done yet. Obviously, we got the bottom part and all that, but I think it's gonna look pretty dang awesome. Had to uh, get some of our own transfer tape. Went to Hobby Lobby and bought some of that because the guy didn't put any on here. So I'm not really wanting to brag on this uh, company, but it's one that I'm sure everybody has used. So I'm not going to bash on them either, but kind of, kind of, uh, kind of annoyed by that. I mean, pay good money for something and, and not get transfer tape put on it. But other than that, it turned out amazing. You can see the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber in my numbers, some carbon fiber down here. So, turned out really good. I'm very happy with it. Now I just gotta do this uh, now. Definitely what I was wanting. I mean, it just, the red is not exactly the same as that, which is really what I was asking for. It's got a, this has got a little more of an orange kind of tint to it, but I still think it turned out really good. I like this design on the Super Jet. Um, so that's what we went with. You got the uh, hand poles, got, you know, the Wave Runner up there as well so got everything i haven't put i'm trying to decide if i want to put the uh the yamaha right here that normally goes there i don't know if i want that on there or not i kind of like the way this looks so just play it by ear but this is it she's done and we're just waiting on the uh getting the engine put together and and some warmer weather to put this thing on the water hope y'all liked it Thanks for sticking around for the build, and this pretty much sums up the exterior part of the build now. It took me forever, but finally got some warm weather where I could install the graphics because it got where it was too cold to install the graphics, in my opinion. So that's it. Everything's done now. We'll see y'all on the next video. <laughs>